Here's the final drawing, then, Peter. The weather vane's progressing well, but the copper work forms only part of it. The cockerel must be attached to a support so it can rotate freely in the wind. And this is what we've got to focus on now. So we need quite a bit of iron. Yeah. And um, some charcoal be useful. Right. For forging the iron. What will the charcoal do? Yeah, it puts some like carbon content into the iron. Yeah. Um, and it also gets a really good heat because we're going to have these billets of iron. We've got to forge right out into the section size. So we've got more heat in the fire. Yeah. That'd be ideal. Perfect. Simon wants to make iron for the weather vane in the traditional way. To do this, he'll need large quantities of charcoal. Making charcoal was a craft that was disappearing from the Edwardian countryside. At the forge, Simon's working day and night to get the copper cockerel finished. So far, it's taken him 120 hours. This is the most rewarding bit for me, the finishing touches, the detail. Yeah, you can actually, it actually looks like Sonny now. Simon's come to the camp to supervise the iron making. While the furnace gets up to temperature, he's got something to show them. Yeah, there's a lot of hours gone into it, and with Peter's help, this is what we've come up with. Wow. I'll make the oh, tea. Oh, my word, look wow. at that. That is amazing, Simon, how you've got that relief there. God, it's so thick as well. I mean, it's not like a thin sort of no, foil yeah. of metal. That's really chunky. I can see the wind catching this and catching the feathers. And yeah, the feathers are just going to be like uh, sails of a boat. So he crows into, into the, the wind. wind. He crows into the wind, which yeah. is going to help us tell which way the wind's blowing and what weather's going to come for our harvest. So. Excellent. Next, I need the iron, guys, for the pivot yeah. mm. after the copper, the arms for the letters for the north, south, north. east, west, yeah, yeah. and then some lovely graceful scrolls to oh, support lovely. those arms. Inside the furnace, the charcoal's been burning for 10 hours, raising the temperature of the iron to melting point. You can see, you know, the, the heat that's needed to get it to this stage. I can feel the heat. <laughs> yeah. And hear the roar. <laughs> You see our charcoal glow? Yes. Now the molten iron must be extracted using the most basic of methods. Yeah, we're basically one at a time, but gentle blow. Peter Leeds. Okay. In theory, the molten metal inside the ore should all stick together like toffee, while the waste material, known as slag, breaks away. But it soon becomes clear there's something not quite right. So. Run us through what just happened there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just crumbling. There's not enough pureness on there, isn't it? At the moment, we'd be hard pushed to make a type in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Colin thinks the iron ore wasn't hot enough, so it's back in the furnace to get it even hotter. What sort of pressure should I be putting on these tongs? Just, yeah, just keep them. Now that is just a completely different material. It's, it's a lot spongier, isn't it? Kind of like getting the good bits to stick together. Right. That's stuck together and it's working, isn't it? Look, it's yeah. working. Essentially, we've taken a raw material from the hillside. Having done this burn, we've produced enough charcoal then to reduce that raw material to a workable and malleable material yeah, in itself right. that we'll be able to use for this weather vane. That's right. Once we've actually got all of the waste product out of this, yeah. then we can actually forge it into any shape that yeah. we need. Now they've worked out the method, they must produce enough for the weather vane. Back at the forge, Simon's worked the iron into rods. Now he's using the charcoal to heat it, ready to make the support for the weather vane. And how's this charcoal doing? It's really good. You no, know, yeah. we're getting the heat quick in there. Mm. Obviously, we've had to break the charcoal down quite a bit because yeah. it's, it's quite, you know, big chunks. I mean, is charcoal good for working metal? Yeah, very good. You don't need much air going into the fire, not so much as you do for coal or coke but you can get the heat in very quickly with charcoal. Now we've just got to get on with the scroll now. And we just start to curve it off the edge of the anvil. And I'm brushing it with a hammer. Brushing it. Just gently brushing it down. It's really thin metal. And then 
That's it. Knocking it towards me. And then just gently elevate. 